Well, we are looking with a very high probability of a huge retracement. 43.75, 42.15, right? And as you can see, we had higher low, higher low, higher highs, channel, and now we are like an elastic pushing, which means when we are going to retrace back it in, into that channel, right? Which is roughly at this point, the area of 41.35, 41.25, right? It's going to be nasty, right? It's going to be nasty because we have right now with the probability power indicator patented, unique in the world, 88% chance of a retracement in the entire market. And the only thing that we have in our favor is that the net buyer from institutions, even on the short term, is still in place as of this morning, the long term, the majors, and the minors. As soon as this turns sideways to down this afternoon or in the next few days, if it does, right, then we have a serious problem. And of course, it's going to depend on the FOMC, you know, what are the plot? So the that plot is what they intend to do, because we know they are not going to do anything today, right? But what's important is what's the plot? Do we have three cuts this year in 2024? Do we have nothing, right? What's their target? You know, are they going to target 2.5, 2% or they are going to give up? and say, well, oh, you know, we live in a new world, maybe the target is 3%. And if that's the case, that's kind of saying, well, there's not a lot we can do with it for inflation, right? right? So we are entering a very, very tricky afternoon and a very, very tricky few days to absorb the FOMC, right? So what to do, right? If we are investors, we are traders, what are we supposed to do? Well, we got to stay unemotional about the volatility that might have happened here. Because the volatility is going to be your friend to buy asset. So listen to that, this, this is super important. Not to trade, not to get in, not to get out. Can you guys hear me? Can you give me like some uh, visual? Give me a yes on the chat, guys. Let's let's get engaged. I come. I want to help you, but get engaged. <laughs> I need I need you to give me. Can you guys hear me? Because it's very important what I'm going to tell you, right? Okay. Give me some yeses, everybody. Not just Mark. I want some engagements. If you are here this morning, you know, support the channel. Rajesh, good morning. Yuri, good morning. Mark, good morning. Come on, guys. So you are going to use that volatility to buy asset on pullback. Why? Because if we assume that for two years, the stock market, we were in a down cycle and we have a new president maybe coming or we have elections coming, we may be in front of us of a new three, four year cycle. And you know that they are injecting a lot of money, guys. You know they are doing everything like in 2020 to throw the kitchen sink so that the banks are not going under. So if we are indeed in this three, four year cycle where everything go bananas, like in the 1920s, you know, it could be very similar to the roaring 20s, you know, with a very similar case we had a pandemic, we had a fiscal stimulus and stuff like that. And then it flew till 1929 until it was not sustainable. And then we were in the shit air for 20 years, right? From 1930s to 1954, the stock market didn't move pretty much, right? It didn't make new high in the stock market from 1929 to 1920-54. Which means that we can have the same same déjà vu scenario here. Well, roaring twenties, right? 
and we go 2028 to next election 2029 and bam we get smack so i'm going to take the approach that i'm going to continue adding like you've seen in some of the video where i show you the retirement accounts and the crypto accounts for public demonstration not to impress you but to press on upon you that we trade real money real accounts with the indicators that we have created that are very unique in the world with the probabilities and everything i'm going to go that even though i have a high probability of a retracement here it doesn't mean that the cycle is over because if i have here it's snap here 42 15 4375 and then snap back back here right in this edges towards the 42 40 300 4700 area I'm buying. So everything that is going to come now after FOMC is a matter of what are you going to do? It's very hard to chase the short here because the guys who are trying to short are getting smacked. The boxes that we do in the morning for day trading in our day trading zones, private community, right? Which helps you to think well differently. We trade the SPY zero day to expiration, seven days, 21 days. It's very difficult right now. Because you're almost better off selling income. Each time you have a retracement, boom, you sell out of the money, put credit spread or puts or whatever. But the day trading is very difficult. So we are stretching. The options premiums are very cheap right now. And especially on the VXX, the cold credit spreads, are very cheap like for the week i think it's 25 cents 31 cents that's an asymmetrical risk if you buy 10 contracts before the fomc for 25 cents the max you can lose is 250 and your max profit is unlimited and those are the type of asymmetrical bet that i like to do because 90 percent of the stuff that i do is to buy asset you know to get income with asset protections and tax efficiency. Asset with income, tax efficiency and asset protections. Most of your money should be in assets. Assets that you can use for infinity banking. And I will do a session live publicly to help everybody. For instance, I cross collateralize everything. That's what the rich does. Elon Musk does not sell his Tesla stock. He has Tesla. And he collateralized Tesla stock. He goes to a bank, and I'll show you how you do that, and a financial institutions, and he gets a loan for 70% of his stock holding. So let's say he has $1 trillion in stock here, a $1 billion worth of Tesla stock. He gets 70%, he has $700 million that the banks give him to do whatever he wants. And then he can redeploy to buy other assets, buy real estate, buy other stocks, right? And that grows and that grows and the return on that 700 millions is infinite banking. It's infinite return. And the reason it's infinite return is because he didn't have to sell the Tesla. So we can do in a smart way and at a very little scale in our side, the same. If you look at the public accounts that I show you in my retirement of the $250,000 account and the crypto $50,000 account, I can do the same. I can do this $300,000. And instead of getting in, getting out, getting in, getting out, get, having tax consequences, having emotional BS reactions to the market, especially on the 90% of the, the market that I believe is going to sustain because it's all about economic cycle. The economic cycle is three, four years. Why am I going to buy the asset or sell the asset? But I can borrow 70% of my stock portfolio, of my retirement account, of my crypto assets, and this with that 70%, which roughly in this case, $300,000, 10% is $30,000. So I borrow 70%, so that would be $30,000 times seven. That would be $200,000. I could borrow, right? $200,000 if my calculation is right, between one fifty and $200,000 to buy other assets and do other multiplication and velocity of money. 
And that's the key. That's what we, the rich, do. You know, I was not born with a silver spoon in my mouth. I came in the U.S. with nothing, guys. I, I had $2,000. Now I own three companies. I'm a partner in six companies. I own, I'm a partner in self-storage facilities. I am sharing with you guys stuff that took me 30 years, thousands of dollars paying attorneys, masterminds to, 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 to know. So this, this, this philosophy of the FOMC today, it's, to, it's in your advantage. Who cares if the FOMC goes to the 42.15 or the 43.75 and, and tank? What we want is that when it tanks, before the election, if, if God, God willing, <laughs> hopefully, we will have a retracement to the channel or to the edges of the calculators, which are unique in the world, right? Even though we have 88% chance of a retracement at this point, if I look at the net buyer, net seller pressure from the power trend box at the top, the buyers are still in place everywhere. So even though you want the short, the short is not flashing yet until maybe this afternoon if that short trend power trend box turns from up to sideways to down. And I'm going to show you where it's possible it happens. You know, number one, the options premiums are very cheap right now. So if you want to protect your long portfolio and you buy cheap, you know, uh, July, September protection to your portfolio, it's cheap. Number two, the VXS weekly options are dirt cheap right now. I think around the 14, yesterday you could buy those protection for 25 cents. That's the type of asymmetrical things that I like. Even though I've done this for 32 years, I used to work in funded account, in prop firm account. I love asymmetrical bet, meaning I risk a small amount of money for a huge return, right? If I risk 10 contracts here for 250,000, say the volatility is going to explode maybe by Friday, one, I can lose the entire 250 or I lose half of the 250, I lose 125. Okay, that's one scenario. The second scenario is I have unlimited return to that $250 on the VXS this afternoon. That's it. So, yes, you roll, it's a 50-50, but it's, a, it's not a stupid 50-50 because you know your max loss is $125 to 250. Your max profit is unlimited. The VIX could explode from 13 to 18, right? And then that 250 becomes 2,500 plus, it's 10 times your money, right? And this is the type of asymmetrical bet that is important. The rest of your money, guys, if you want to be smart in the stock market, you buy and hold like Warren Buffett during the cycle because everything else you are going to get in and out, in and out emotionally, you are going to have Commission and queue. You are going to like take this keyboard. This is my massager. You are going to like bang, bang, bang the keyboard because you keep on making stupid decisions, right? You are in, you are out. You get, you, you, you are going to be, be emotional about your trading. So when you look at the $300,000 portfolio with the crypto $50,000 and the retirement account, a quarter of a million, I don't go in and out. I buy, I hold. It pulls back like this on an economical cycle, I buy more. It pulls back, I buy more. It pulls back, I buy more. That's 90% of my asset. Then I split the other 10% like this. 7% is swing trading, right? And 3% of my asset is day trading. And I am known for day trading the 0%, the 0 day, DTSPY, SPX, or the ES futures. That's it. I'm extremely focused on one instrument. I don't look at Apple for day trading. I don't look, well, I have done a little bit of NVIDIA and SMCI lately, but I do not trade anything else but one instrument. So when you trade, you're extremely focused. SPY options, SPY options, SPY options, zero DTE. I can buy them between 25 cents and a buck. That means that literally, literally, I'm not kidding. With $250 to about $1,500, you can learn over time to do those plays. But everything else in your account should be buy and hold during the cycle. 
If the cycle is four years, you just buy, buy, buy and pull back. If we are on a down cycle, like we've been in the last two years, you short, short, short on the resistance. It looks to me that they are doing a lot of infusions of liquidity. So we are going to have a big retracement. Yes, I don't discount the retracement. As a matter of fact, the tools before the FOMC shows you that there's an 88% chance of a retracement right now. But I don't want to fight against this, this long-term trend pressure of net buyer from institutions, from major block, minor block giving an overall uptrend. Because even if the short trend this afternoon follows the probability here and we are going from up to sideways to down, guys, guess what's going to happen? That's a retracement within the next few months before the election for a huge buy anyway. There's a lot of money on the sidelines that wants to buy this 4,500 in the market, this 4,500, 4,800 area. Everybody's waiting for this retracement to buy. Now, going before the FOMC, we have the plot. So th it's all about this uh, rate plot. You know, what will happen? So if you look today on Zero Edge, there was a good article about credit markets to be sensitive to the debt plot this afternoon and for the next few days, you know, as the market goes up and up. Also, I want to show you on the tools, on the four hour charts, before we go to some opportunity, I want to finish the stock market review here. If you look at the markets on our trading screen here, and you look at those four hour charts, you'll notice a couple of things that are interesting. In the past few days, the bonds are going down. When the bonds are going down, that means the rates are going up. Also, what I've noticed in the past few days is the Dixie, the Dow is going up. People are buying defense. And also what I noticed is that the VIX is doing a little bit of nothing between 13.5 and 15.5, right? It's doing a little bit of nothing here. Hopefully this is helpful, guys. Can you hear me? Give me your uh, yes, no. Can you be engaged in the, the chat? I'm trying to help you every Wednesday, guys. Also, we are doing a community here. We are going to give you a, a link to our community. Of course, we have the Discord group, but we are moving to a new community that is a lot, lot better for everybody to get engaged with. So if this is helpful, your likes and comments are appreciated. So the tenure goes down, the VIX is sideways, then you have the, 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 the dollar going up. Well, it's funny because in the meanwhile, look what's happening. Look at the SPX has been going up towards this resistance of 42.75 coming here, oh, sorry, those, this is the ES futures, 42.75, and we are looking at the 42.15 resistance on SPX. So write that down because I'll be important for you this afternoon, right? But if you look also, the SPY is really, really having a hard time breaking down here, this 508. So I've told my guys, the guys that come into our private room, we trade every morning, the SPY, the ES options, the SPX options for income for the week. You know, we do credit spread on the SPX and the ES options. We trade the SPY or the ES, and that's for income. And we are in and out with our time. We start at 9.15, 10.15, 10.35, we are done. So we are like snipers, like SWAT team members. We are in, we are out, get our money. And the rest, 90% of our money is all about tax efficiency, asset protection, and the infinity banking that I was showing you with the portfolios, right? When, when I use this and I need money, I take those portfolios here, right? By the way, if you are new to the community, right? This is our family right there. You know, I've done this trading and investing gig since I was 20 years old, 21, I'm 52, so it's 31 years of doing it, guys, right? And we invented and created this patented tools 
that are unique in the world that gives you real-time probability, buy on blue, sell on purple, you know, use the power trend box, net buy on net seller pressure, use the screener, the three-in-one screeners to help you make better decisions. Instead of being emotional, getting in, getting out. Believe me, guys, I have blown up so many trading accounts in my career. So I know, I know what a lot of you are going through or will go through if you are a new trader. Believe me, 31 years in this business, you've seen it all, right? So this helps you to be less emotional, but you got to start, as I told you, at the breakdown of your portfolio. 90% of your portfolio in long-term investing for assets that provides you income, the trifecta of income, selling puts, selling cover calls, so you get your rental checks, right? I get rental checks from all my portfolio, guys, every month. Every month I sell cover call. I sell puts, right? And I do the trifecta of income. Then I use a very small portion of my portfolio, 3%, right? To do the crypto trading, the swing trading. And well, it's about 10%. If you do swing trading and day trading, 10% of my portfolios. And then I show you publicly my retirement account, how they grow. So last year, it grew here uh, um, from, no, this is this year. Uh, the last screenshot I gave you, and I give you an update every month, by the way. Two, $233,000 portfolio. We were up $9,000 as of last week, right, of the, in the portfolio. We finished the year at 223 up 27%. So look, Warren Buffett is the best investor of all time, supposedly, right? But... We are going to go with that because I really like what, what, what it stands for, right? So Warren Buffett is really someone who buys company. He doesn't really do the stock market. He buys and holds and takes position, acquisition and equity in companies, right? So this was 27% return across four accounts. You see here, retirement, retirement, brokerage that I showed you publicly. So you can see the way it went up from last year right? 27%. And we had already at uh, the end of February, so barely two months, the account growing. And I was showing you for demonstration purposes, all the accounts, so like this account, this account, the positions, the cost basis, this account, same, the cost basis. And that's what I was, and here the crypto account, I have three, you know, and what, what we were doing with the, the, the cryptos and everything, that's the con base account, right? It's to do the infinity banking. I was telling the guys earlier, if you came late to the stream, that the power is infinity banking, meaning number one, recognize the cycle. If you have a four-year cycle, I'm not going to sell asset. No asset sell, because then I have tax consequences, right? For four years, I want it to compound tax-free or tax-deferred. In retirement account is good because you are it's asset protected. If tomorrow anybody comes and sue us and you have your asset in retirement account, I don't know if you knew that, but especially if it's ERISA protected, the 401k, some state protect your IRA, but mostly 401ks, uh, be a defined benefit pension plan from your companies, nobody can penetrate that. It's protected from creditors. So. I kind of like doing stuff in retirement account if I can, right? So if you are not in retirement account, that's where you absolutely don't want to sell because you, you create tax consequences. So if you are there, then what you do, if you need more money to get access to more opportunity in real estate, buy more assets, I love self-storage facility. Love self-storage facility. Internet businesses, self-storage facility, trading, and that's it. That's that, that that's all I really specialize in. You know, business acquisition, it, it's, it's something that I am really fascinating that I've learned for years. And, and most of the time I partner with others, right? So the best thing you can do is have asset. The number one asset, by the way, in the world, since I came in the US with only $2,000 and an American wife that I met in Paris, France, <laughs> 30 something years ago, right? Is you. 
The best asset is you. You invest in your knowledge. You invest in people who have gone through the path of where you want to be. And don't listen to the dickheads on YouTube that are young, that are cool, that have great marketing and have no money. They are showing nothing. They talk about their tools. They talk about their trading. They talk about their analysis, but they show nothing. And they do nothing. And they prove nothing. That is super important. Who you listen to is critical. You really want to emulate people who have been there, done that before, you, right? You know, I spend money probably every year, $30,000 in mentoring. Like I'm in a mentoring sub two group for real estate. Uh, how to loan money in real estate for real estate deals. When people need money, I lend money, right? Uh, so I don't have to clean toilet, deal with tenant, do evictions. I let the other people do it. I give the money. But remember, I control the deal. So if the deal goes south, I still have the asset, right? So you want to learn from people who do. And when you are in a four-year cycle like this, I will teach you how you don't sell. Do not sell your assets. But, and this is the cool thing, but, but buy more assets on the pullback from the tools. So if you go back to the tools here, let's assume here, let's assume that we are going between now and the elections. And this is where you don't care about the FOMC. The FOMC is just an emotional reaction to the traders. You take advantage of what the traders are going to do. So let's say they tank here back before the elections. And there is a possibility we continue, by the way, all the way to the top of the edges of the calculator to 43.75, 42.15 on the SPX. But at one point, we are going to retrace. When we retrace, don't panic. Wait. Wait with cash, like I do in crypto right now. The crypto, like Bitcoin, was at 72. It came back in tonight at 60. I'm starting to buy. Then it goes to 55. I buy more. Then it goes, a final blow, let's say, at 52, I buy more. And then guess what? Two years from now in the cycle, we might be at Bitcoin 100K or a new high, 77K. But I would have loaded assets, not options that expires in my face at the end of the day, but assets. If you buy assets that don't expire in your face at the end of the day, that's, that's huge because time is on your side. When I do my 0DT, my 7DT, my 14 days DT on SPY, they are against me. Time is against me. If the move does not happen precisely, it's going to blow in my face. When you buy a set, you have the gift of time. Even if you're wrong, you're stupid. You bought Bitcoin at 72,000 at the high, but you wait three, four years in the cycle and next it's 100,000. You had the, the gift of time, even though it went back to 50, now it's 100, you still make 50% rate of return during the cycle. So to us, this is why 90% of my money is in an asset. And, and I use the infinity banking where I don't sell the asset during the cycle. So let's say you have a million dollar portfolio. The bank is going to give you a collateral loan of 70%. Now I have 70, $700,000 that I can play with the same money, the same $1 million portfolio that keeps on going up and up and up and up. I have another $700,000 that I can buy the deep here, buy the deep here, buy the deep here, buy the deep here. And I also have a funding group called the Funding, uh, funding Mastery on the Skull Group, if you're interested. Make sure you text us at 954-758-8145. 954-758-8145. Write it down, 758-8145. We have wealth community group get together every month and we post 24-7 where we help you also get 0% financing. So 0% financing or 70% of all the asset collateralized, you know, self-storage interest, the uh, stock portfolios, your crypto portfolios, and then you go with that 700,000 
and you keep on adding. You buy the dip, you buy the dip, you buy the dip. And now guess what? Now it goes back up. This 700 portfolio just doubled. You have $1.4 million here. This one doubled, it's 2 million. Now your net worth is 3.4 million, starting with the 1 million here. You triple your net worth. And that's not a freaking crypto. That's not a zero DTSPY. That's using intelligent leverage, right? And that's how you become wealthy, everybody. 